Hey guys, so today we're going to be working in our math book on um, lesson 7-3 and we're going to talk about um, the different values of a number depending on where it is on a place value mat, okay, or in a number. All right, each digit in a three-digit number has a different value. Let's think about the number 444. Even though it's four number, or I'm sorry, three numbers and they're all four, 444, they each have a different value. This is in the hundreds place, so we would picture it as four of those hundreds. And that four is worth 400. That's the value of it. That's what the first four is. The second four is in the tens place, so we picture it as four tens. The value of four tens is 40. And then the last four is in the ones place. And each of those is worth one, so the value of four ones is four. So each number has a different value depending on the place where it is. That's why it's really important that we pay attention to what place it's in, okay, and how we represent it. All right, let's do another one. Let's think about the number 309. All right, and this is where we get to see how important that zero is. So if I look at my three-digit number, the first number is three. That's how many hundreds there are. I have three of those hundreds flats. Those are these, okay? No tens, nine ones. So the value of that three, it's valued at 300 no tens, and nine ones, okay? That zero is really important to hold the place because if we didn't have the zero there, the number would be 39. We wouldn't write 309 as 39. No, it's 300 and nine ones. That's the number 309, okay? Zero is really important as a placeholder. Okay, so for today's lesson, you guys are going to just be thinking about where the number is, okay? Where it is on that place value chart. If you need to, if you're not really sure, you can get your whiteboard out, draw yourself a place value model, hundreds place, tens place, one's place, okay? All right, so Henry scored 254 points in a game. What is the value of each digit in 254? So to tell the place, I'm sorry, to tell the value of each digit a number, Look at its place in the number. The place is where it is, whether it's in the hundreds place, the tens place, or the ones place. So that's what they did. They took their place value chart. They wrote the two because it's in the hundreds place. The five is in the tens place. The four is in the ones place. And we know that we represent 200 with these 200 flats five tens, four ones. The two is in the hundreds place, its value is 100, 200. It's worth that two stands for 200. The five is in the tens place, five tens, its value is 50. Five tens is worth 50, five tens are worth 50. And then the four is in the ones place, so it's worth four. Okay, so this isn't a two, that two represents 200. That five represents 50, and then the four represents four. So what you guys are going to do right now, you're going to look at the underlined digit, and you're going to decide how much it's worth. Is it in the hundreds place, the tens place, or the ones place? 
So 568, the 8 is in the 1's place. If I have 8 1's, it's worth 8. Okay? All right, so that's what you guys are going to do. Let's look at number 4. Let's see if we can figure this out. It says write a 3-digit number, so that means it's going to have 100's, 10's, and 1's, that has a 4 in the 100's place. And you can fill in the other numbers. You decide what you want the numbers to be. It might be, I might do 486. Okay, what is the value of the 4 in your number? So what is this 4 worth? It's in the hundreds place, so it's worth 400. Okay, all right guys, so that's what you're going to work on. You're going to continue on the next side, same thing, the value of the underlying digit. You're going to use these numbers. They give you a clue for number 13 and 14. You're using one of these numbers. You're either going to write down 348, 403, 834 on those lines. All right, this is thinking about how many people would be on a um, baseball team. Okay, how many, about how many players would there be on a baseball team? All right, see if you can figure out and write about it. Dave wrote the number 286. He thinks the value of the 2 is less than the value of the 8 because 2 is less than 8. Is Dave correct? Explain. Remember, guys, we're thinking about value and place value, so try to use those words in there. You're going to continue on this page doing the exact same thing. It's another model of what we did. Exact same thing. All right. Think about Melissa being at a carnival with her friends. If she buys pretzels for herself and her friends, about how many pretzels would she buy? And then a fruit stand sells red and green apples. Each type of apple comes in packages of 10 apples and packages of one. Okay, so imagine a bag of apples with 10 in it, or you can get a single bag with one apple in it. Carl buys four packages of red apples and three packages of green apples. Can you tell if Carl has more red or green apples? Are you able to tell that based on the information they gave you? Okay. All right, guys, I will talk to you later.